participants. At the outset, uh, I would like to thank the WHO for organizing this very important program today as a curtain raiser and uh, bringing to the fore this very important subject of food safety. I echo the sentiments of the previous speakers you know, who have spoken elaborately on the importance of the food safety. I will not go into that. Uh, because I'll, I'll be merely repeating uh, them. I'll just like to highlight a few points, you know, the, f the few points which I take away from the deliberations which took place today. As uh, Mr. Pandey pointed out that now there is a separation between consumption and production. Cooking also has uh, got, you know, separated from uh, production. Uh, from consumption. So the takeaway is that you know the international trade now is is there to stay. You know, I mean, it's like Mr. Singh said that Indian farm Indian farmer is very ethical. You know, that it's very reassuring to know that. But now it's not only the ethics of the Indian farmer you have to worry about, but you have to worry about the ethics of farmers across the world. You know, it's it's it's, it's we have to worry about you know the farmer in Argentina or Brazil, you know, the Brazilian farmer has to worry about, or Brazilian people have to worry about Russian farmer. You know, it's, it's all interconnected, you know, it's not, it's not only one country, you know, if it is sticking to the norms that we can be completely relieved. So there, there, there is the importance of the uh, Codex Elementarius and uh, we have to see that the standards are set, you know, for all food products as quickly as possible. And the standards should be such that, you know, they, they, they uh, cater to the safety requirement, you know. Uh, sometimes they are being used as non-tariff barriers, you know, and to be set up very high or sometimes low, depending upon, you know, which country can influence the outcome of the negotiation. So, uh, it should be, the standard should be set up and it should be set up in such a manner that uh, the food safety part is taken care of. The second point, you know, which came out very strongly from the discussion is the need for intersectoral convergence. You know, we have so many departments, you know, who are uh, present on the, on the dais and indeed they all have very, very important role. While at the policy level, you know, we all may be on uh, one you know, wavelength, uh, but it's some unscrupulous elements, you know, which would create the problem. And uh, the question of enforcement comes, and not only, as I mentioned, you know, in my first point, not only in India, but then you know, the enforcement has to be strong, you know, everywhere, everywhere, all the all the countries, you know, from where the food items are coming, they have to be equally uh, scrupulous, you know. So, so uh, the, the, the intersectoral convergence, you know, the people who are there in the production, farmers, you know, the transport. They all, they all have a tendency to, you know, maximize after all, after all, they are there, uh, not, not there for charity, but, but, but for their livelihood and, uh, and uh, business. Sometimes they may not be having the correct information also. It's not that, you know, they do it deliberately, but uh, they may be using pesticides and things like that. More than what exactly is required, knowing little that, you know, what kind of disastrous uh, consequences it can have for human health, including his own health. So, so you, it's not that, you know, they are unscrupulous, but they, they don't have the right information. And that is where the importance of awareness comes. Uh, the correct information has to be disseminated to, to all, the, all the stakeholders. Uh, some some un, un, unscrupulous elements would be there and that, that of course, one has to tackle through uh, enforcement. Uh, but, but largely, I think, you know, this happens because of lack of awareness also. And that is where the importance of WHO 
WHO comes, you know, that the WHO is, is a repository of, uh, you know, knowledge and uh, it's what it says is, you know, sort of trust, trusted by, uh, by countries and uh, it's not, it's, it's presumed that it's not influenced by any, any business interest or any lobby. So, uh, there are a lot of, a lot of information goes around about food, you know, this food is good, this food is bad. You read uh, today's newspaper. You read that's good. Uh, tomorrow is you know it's not good. You know so 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 it's a, it's it's very confusing. Ultimately, you decide what you <laughs> what you want. You're going by your taste. You you consume it. Uh, so uh, so there is a need for uh, correct information to be given, and uh, there there I think the role of uh, WHO is uh, extremely important. Uh, Mr. Malik mentioned about. The role you know, which we are playing as uh, FSSCI, I am Secretary of Health and Family Welfare, and I am also currently in additional charge of the Chairman FSSCI. And uh, we need we we have, we had a meeting yesterday, and we have been meeting quite frequently because there have been concerns about the processes and things like that. Uh, but uh, you know, we we have developed quite a few standards and. Very shortly, I think in about three to four months, you know, we'll have uh, most of the horizontal standards, uh, which they have. You know, most most are based on codex and uh, other standards recommended by the scientific uh, panels. We we would be notifying them, and we have strengthened the number of panels, and uh, we uh, I think in a very short period of time. We should be uh, framing all the all the standards. Uh, the point regarding the enforcement, uh, which Mr. Malik made, is very valid. You know, because those standards don't mean much unless you have the ability to you know enforce them. So that point uh, is very well taken. The food safety, of course, is a very 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 complex complex subject where you know uh, so many so many stakeholders and so many people have. Have, have a very important role to play, which Mr. Anshu Prakash, in his remark, you know, he, he, he brought out uh, that, uh, you know, right up to consumption, you know, uh, you know the safety angle is, is there. So, we all need to work together and we need to create awareness and uh, the civil society ultimately, you know, they, whatever they demand, you know, uh, they will get, you know, so, so ultimately, the solution lies in uh, disseminating the correct information and empowering the civil society. Then only we'll have, you know, uh, safe food from farm to plate, as, as has been, you know, enunciated in the WHO's uh, message for the uh, current year. So I'll once again uh, I'll thank uh, uh, WHO for organizing this very important. Uh, and I hope that the deliberations which will go on uh, throughout the year, I presume, uh, will, you know, contribute to uh, the cause of food safety. Thank you.